And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Daytona International Speedway. We are under the lights for the first race to start off Season 3. I can't believe we've made it this far, but we're here. You know, believe it. We're here. Season 3 of the NSCRA. And we're starting it off with the first non-points event to start off the week here at Daytona. This is the Budweiser Shootout. Now, there were three ways that these drivers were able to get into this event. One, they had to have a pole last season. Didn't matter what track, just as long as they had a pole, that got them into this race. Two, they had to be a former winner at Daytona. That means either the Daytona 500 winner or winner of the second Daytona race that we had both in Season 1 and Season 2. And last but not least, they had to have been a championship contender, a driver who made the chase for the Snickers Cup Series championship last season, which means, yes, we have our defending champion, Adam Chambers, in this field. As a matter of fact, if I'm correct on this, I think he's actually starting in the final row, so it'll be interesting to see if the champ will be able to come back. All right, we've gotten the command to fire the engines. The cars will roll off. Here is the starting grid for the Season 3 Budweiser Shootout. Well, we ended up having practice uh, yesterday, and uh, that was a really exciting practice. And the two drivers that topped the speed charts were Logan Wilson and uh, Ray Wilson. Logan Wilson is going to be starting off in the sixth position. Ray Wilson starting back in 18th. Now, these drivers are racing for two reasons. One, that they want to uh, get some experience for the 500, and two, they want that big check that comes from winning this Saturday night shootout. And yes, I did get it timed correctly. The Bud Shootout actually taking place in the Sprint Cup Series tonight. And we've got our own Bud Shootout here to start off Season 3 in the NSRA. Jacob Cook, alongside Daniel Schwab, Joshua Courier, and Vincent Marsh, put us under green for 16 laps of racing here tonight at Daytona. You know, it would be really ironic is if one of the drivers that went to Victory Lane tonight, if it ended up being that... Sprint Cup Series driver that went to victory lane. Wow, Jacob Cook got loose there through turn one, and Joshua Curry is going to challenge to the inside. Daniel Schwab got the short end of the stick there. Look at that, no drafting help up high. Now, you're probably not going to see these guys breaking into two-car drafts because uh, NSRA has been working very hard to work on pack racing. They've been trying to get these cars so they cannot break away from each other. That way it brings about a little bit more exciting racing. And uh, they also have tried to alter these cars so that way if they do bump draft, they're not going to be pushing quite as hard and cause a huge wreck. So we'll see what happens here tonight. But, you know, tonight may be different from the Daytona 500. Maybe they'll get even more aggressive in the 500. And by the way, at the start of this race, I said I thought that our defending champ, Adam Chambers, was starting at the in the final row. He actually did. Started off in the 22nd position, but he's trying to work his way up to the front now. There's the car that went to victory lane in the Bud Shootout last season, in Season 2. Except it's, that's Kristen Worry driving that car tonight. And in this season, Matthew Rodriguez drove it last season. He's the one that put the car in victory lane in Season 2. Here comes Arnold Columbia in the number 82 Pepsi Chevrolet. That car coming out of Hendrick Motorsports. And Columbia, with, as I mentioned, the four Pepsi-sponsored uh, paint schemes this season. Driving for Pepsi here. Back there, we didn't get to talk about him during practice. Right there, that five car on the high side, Jack Richards. He's that coming in in the same number five he was in before. Well, look at, look at uh, right here. Or Columbia wasn't sure which drafting partner he wanted. John Doan and Timmy Pagioli. But going back to Jack Richards. Jack Richards staying in the five car. And uh, this year getting sponsored by Farmers Insurance. So a nice light blue and gray paint scheme there. It's a cool looking color. John Dillon now to the inside. Dillon in the two for Penske Racing now. Still looking for his first Snickers Cup Series victory. Has not gotten it yet. He's been close in the last two seasons. He started his NNSCRA career midway through Season 1 when he drove the number 27 
which ironically was the champion Adam Chambers car, as he's actually fifth on that inside line there. Ray Wilson, fastest in practice, now to the front with T.O. Bain and Dougie Shears, but going back to John Dillon, he was so close. He had good starting position in Season 1, never got it done, and was very close to getting the victory at least two or three times that I can remember in Season 2, and just circumstances happening that he wasn't able to get it. So he is still chasing his first NNSCRA Snickers Cup Series victory. Last season, he did pick up his first NNSCRA career victory in the Truck Series. Here comes T.O. Bain down to the inside line. And he's getting drafting help from a guy who was his teammate last season. They both drove for Hendrick Motorsports last season with Bain in the 48 and Anthony McCurry in the 88. Now McCurry is still in the 88, but T.O. Bain moving to the 08 car. But I don't think they've forgotten that little alliance they used to have. And here comes our uh, defending champion, Adam Chambers, just like that. Coming up through the field here. And then it's Kenny McCurry, and then Chambers' teammate, John Worry in the 33. Remember that on the green flag, Daniel Schwab was stuck up on the way up high side? Well, he's now down on that inside line, right behind the Cheers Betty Crocker Chevrolet of John Worry. Time now for our Daytona 500 poll question. Today's question is, which former NNS Area champion do you think has the best chance of winning the Daytona 500? Do you think Dougie Shears does? B, Timmy Pacioli, C, Adam Chambers, D, Robert Ban, or E, Matthew Rodriguez. All five of these drivers will be in the Daytona 500, so cast your vote by leaving it as a comment below. John Worry now challenges to the inside of T.O. Bain. Now, I was trying to go through the statistics here. As far as drivers are concerned, it looks like there are going to be three Richard Childress cars starting this bud uh, in this bud shootout. There are two Rush Fenway Racing cars. There are two Joe Gibbs Racing cars. There are three Hendrick Motorsports cars, three Red Bull cars. So there are some advantages here. Drafting partners available for certain drivers. Jake Cole there on the inside there, right behind new leader Christian James, is actually a Hendrick-related car, and he's got a... Hendrick-related car right behind him. That's a Hendrick car, actually, of Jack Richards in the 5. So Christian Jane's out in front. Last season was a good Snickers Cup Series season for him. He picked up his first and second career Snickers Cup Series victories. Uh, his first one came at Infineon, and his second one, I believe, came at Indianapolis during the chase. Well, Jake Cole last season drove for Haas Racing. He drove the 05 for Stuart Haas Racing, but this season he's going to be the veteran over at Stuart Haas Racing as he's the only a uh, pretty much seasoned driver. He's got two rookie teammates this season, the 10 of Max Russell and the 14 of Tony Speed. Now, Speed did make, I believe, at least one or two starts in the Snickers Cup Series last season, but he's still considered a rookie. And look at Timmy Pacioli make it three wide under Vincent Marsh and Jake Cole, and Pacioli will go to the front. Red Bull Racing expanding here. Last season, it was just Dougie Shears and Jared Crocious. Now this year, Dougie Shears still in the 83, Logan Wilson in the 4, and Timmy Pacioli in the 84. And here comes our pole sitter right back to the inside there. There's Jacob Cook working his way back to the front. And the guy that started on the outside of him, though, is kind of caught back in traffic. Daniel Schwab stuck in that middle line. Ooh, a little close right there between Jake Berg and Joshua Curry. They nearly touched. And they're going to go four wide. Ooh, boy, they just barely made it three wide there. And Kristen Worry emerges as the leader now. But that could have been big right there. Joshua Courier and Jake Berg almost made contact. Kristen Worry led that lap. But here comes Logan Wilson to the inside. Second fastest in practice. And here comes our defending Bud Shootout winner, Matthew Rodriguez, driving that number 98 for Richard Childress Racing. Richard Childress Racing has three cars in this field. Rodriguez, um, John Worry, and defending champion 
Adam Chambers. There's the two McCurry brothers working together. We've seen them do that before. Of course, the 09 out of Phoenix Racing. He's actually going to have a teammate this year, is uh, Kenny McCurry in the 09. So that'll be helpful. He'll have Jacob Lawler in the 51 to be able to help draft with him in the 500 since both those drivers are locked in to the Great American Race. Laps winding down quickly here, and Matthew Rodriguez out in front. Well, not for long. Battle between Chevys, Hendrick down low, Childress up high. Well, here we go. Here's all the Childress cars up here in the tide of the top five, the 98, the 27, and the 33. But McCurry's going to win down low, and there's a car we haven't talked about at all tonight. Jack Nayton in the 16 car. With the uh, Vaveline sponsorship here tonight. And uh, Jack Nayton didn't pick up any wins last season, but he was a good contender for the championship, but was unable to defeat Adam Chambers. See that silver car there, Dougie Shears, he's out to prove something this year. A lot of people kind of questioning why Dougie Shears won the championship in season one and then was struggling, really scraping to stay inside the top 35 in points last season. He's out to prove a lot of people wrong that he can get back into championship contention. And as I mentioned, he's got Timmy Pacioli and uh, the four of Logan Wilson, all both of whom are locked into the 500 to be able to work with in the Great American Race. John Dillon now leads the way in the two. Penske Racing was... Uh, really thinking about opening up a third team. And, uh, so, you know, don't know if, if any of the single-car Dodges may be piloted uh, under the uh, Roger Penske engine designers or whatever. You know, they may end up deciding to do that, but anyway, Dylan and Garrett Hay are going to be the two Penske cars in the 500, as now Jack Richards takes the lead. Vincent Marsh had a pretty stellar practice. He and his teammate Jake Berg were working quite a bit during the Bud Shootout practice and put down some pretty stellar speeds for those Joe Gibbs Toyotas. Well, here we go. We're going to go three wide into turn one. Kristen Worry will stick Vincent Marsh back in the middle. Jack Richards rim riding on the high side. we got three laps to go here as well. And the car that went to victory lane last season is out in front, and Kristen Worry looking for her first Snickers Cup Series victory, even though it would be non-points. Here comes Joshua Courier. Here comes Daniel Schwab, even lower. Now, Schwab has won at Daytona, won it last, uh, last season, the second Daytona race of the season, driving the 09, or not the 09, the number 9, for Richard Petty Motorsports, filling in for the injured Logan Wilson, who, by the way, is coming up the inside line here, drafting with the 30, of Jacob Cook, our pole sitter. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, I'm trying to cast my memory back to Season 2. I believe when Matthew Rodriguez won the Bud Shootout, he not only finished first, but I think he started on the pole. So, you know, Jacob Cook's up there. He may be able to have something to say about this before all said and done, but here comes Arnold Columbia under Jake Berg, three wide. Columbia now closing in on leader Logan Wilson. Now, Logan Wilson's in this race because he won the Season 1 Daytona 500. Last season, spent most of it recuperating from an injury. And now he's back in Red Bull Racing, and he receives the white flag. One more lap to go here at Daytona. And look who's coming up that inside line, third in that inside line. That's the number 98 Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet of Matthew Rodriguez, our defending winner in this race. He may... Want to go back-to-back? Back? I don't know. Will he be able to? No, looks like McCurry's going to stick him in the middle three wide. If they go three wide for a second, Logan Wilson's got this made. They are three wide for second. Logan Wilson, out of turn four for the final time, makes his return in style to the NNSCRA. And the number four Red Bull Racing Toyota Camry wins the Budweiser shootout for season three. Great run for Logan Wilson, that number four, and the guy who was second fastest in practice. I guess that showed right there as he won the Bud Shootout. 
Alright then, so let's take a look at the finishing order for the Bud Shootout Season 3. As we'll see where the 22 drivers ended up finishing. And Logan Wilson is the winner. He'll take home the big check here tonight. So here's the way they finished. Logan Wilson, Anthony McCurry, Jack Nathan, Matt Rodriguez, John Worry. Pretty good run there for those two children's cars, third and fourth. T.O. Bain, fifth. Dougie Shears, sixth. Kenny McCurry, seventh. Ray Wilson, in ninth. And they've got Adam Chambers in tenth. Dana Schwab, eleventh. Vincent Marsh, twelfth. Arnold Columbia in thirteenth. Fourteenth was Christian Janes. Jake Berg in fifteenth. John Dillon in sixteenth. Jake Cole, seventeenth. In 18th was our pole sitter, Jacob Cook. Joshua Courier, who was up at the front for a while, he's 19th. 20th was Timmy Pacioli. 21st was Kristen Worry. And Jack Richards finished the day in 22nd. Don't forget, we got the qualifying races from Daytona coming up next. And then we'll be having our points races, the trucks, the mobile one, and the Daytona 500 coming here to cap off this week. Congrats to Logan Wilson on winning the Budweiser shootout. Thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching the NNSCRA Sports Channel Offline Racing at its best.